we are going to study the cranial bones and facial bones that contribute to form the skull. This is the coronal suture. And this is the sagittal suture. This is the vault of the skull. And this is the base of the skull. This bone is called frontal bone. On either side of the sagittal suture, there are parietal bones. Behind, this is the posterior end of the sagittal suture, and these sutures are called lambdoid sutures. This is the occipital bone. This part of the occipital bone is called squamous part of the occipital bone. If you look at the base of the skull, this is the occipital bone, squamous part. This is the basilar part of the occipital bone. This is foramen magnum. Spinal cord comes out from the cranial cavity through the foramen magnum. These are occipital condyles. They articulate with the first cervical vertebra, which is the atlas. If you look at the lateral aspect now, this is the temporal bone. This part of the temporal bone is called squamous part of the temporal bone. There are other parts of the temporal bone here. This is called mastoid process of the temporal bone. This is zygomatic process. This part of the temporal bone is called tympanic part. You can see the external acoustic meatus here. If you go to the base of the skull again, this is the mastoid process, as I said before. This process is called styloid process. Here, you can see the greater wing of the sphenoid bone. There are several parts to the sphenoid bone. On the lateral side, you can only see the greater wing of the sphenoid bone here. And in the base of the skull, you see the medial, medial and the lateral pterygoid plates of the sphenoid bone. Medial pterygoid plate and the lateral pterygoid plate. In this skull, the vault has been removed so that you see the cranial cavity inside. This is the squamous part of the frontal bone. And this is the orbital part of the frontal bone. These are also called orbital plates. They form the roof of the orbit. In between the two orbital plates, you can see a small part of the ethmoid bone here. This part of the ethmoid bone is called cribriform plate. If you turn this, forming the medial wall of the orbit here, you can see the ethmoid bone. It forms the medial wall of the orbit as well. This is the lesser wing of sphenoid bone. This is the body of the sphenoid bone. And this is the greater wing of the sphenoid bone that you saw in the lateral view. This is the squamous part of the temporal bone you saw in the lateral view. And this is the petrous part of the temporal bone that you didn't see so far. 
Thickest part of the temporal bone contains middle and inner ear. This is called internal acoustic meatus. Bones forming the facial skeleton. The two zygomatic bones, the two maxillary bones, the two nasal bones, the lacrimal bones, The inferior concha, there are two on either side. The two palatine bones and the mandible. 